Our next stop in the Philippines was at the island Malapascua. Here the tide isn't more than a meter or two, but the beaches are long and shallow, so we had to anchor the dinghy pretty far out when we went to shore. If we hadn't done that, we would have been forced to carry the dinghy a long way when we were ready to go back. Just a few hours after this moment, the shoreline was by the dinghy and Oscar moved it even further out. Gick det bra? Blöd blöd? Fint sol igång. We anchored at this island during two nights and at dinner we got the cutest company. Wow! In boat? It's a boat. Mm. Mm. That's probably the wrong code. Malpaske is close to the bigger island Cebu and it's known for the nice snorkeling and diving. Since we arrived late one day we anchored Hilma far out in one of the bays, not too far from what we thought was a nice reef. The next morning we took our snorkeling gear and went to look for a good snorkeling area. We heard a lot about this place before we went there and we thought it would be a bit touristic and hectic since it's very popular and kind of easy to reach, but as it turned out we were wrong. It's a really nice place, there are a few hotels and restaurants by the beach, but it's still very calm and relaxing. What you get? Hmm. <laughs> there are also a lot of small roads on the islands where the people live very traditional and it's very cozy and beautiful. Which way? Okay. Mm. Huh? Hello, hello. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> 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 
So, uh, what are we looking at? The inter seal. <laughs> Some kind of seal. It's a uh, dried herring. Of some kind, anyway. I think it's like unseen. Ja, precis. Det typ var ganska tungt alltså. Nej, det gick precis tror jag. Oh. Hur har du en älskning? Har du fått internet? Vad sa du? Har du fått internet? Ja, du är då. Mm. Jag tror den är 77 procent. Today we are sailing towards uh, Bora Kay and uh, we decided to go for two days so we won't there won't be any hurry when we anchor for the night and so far it seems like there's a lot of fish in the water and this looks almost weird because we're approaching a area with uh, a lot of things I'm not sure what it is we'll see I thought it was like a huge net, but I guess it's just uh, a lot of birds resting on the surface, <laughs> I think. The sea life in the Philippines must be one of the most beautiful in the whole world. In many places around the islands the snorkeling is amazing and when we sailed there was almost always some birds, fishes or dolphins to look at. One thing that we often saw, but didn't really want to see, was the sea snakes. There are a lot of them, both by the surface while sailing, but also nearby while snorkeling. We knew that some of them had really dangerous venoms and were super toxic, so we stayed away from them all. It felt much better to see them from above the surface, even though they aren't our favorite animals from any view.
jag släpper allt eller? Ja. You know what? What what? This is the first time we're sailing in the Philippines. Yeah. I think. No, no, we sailed with it, you know. Uh, before. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be quite a cool place, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Maybe we. We were going for that island to Robanker for the night, but then we saw all these boat, those boats here, and it's probably caves. It's supposed so, to be pretty big caves, and I don't know. Maybe we stay another day or just check it out tomorrow. Yeah, there's a beach over there where we can anchor, and it's like a perfectly sheltered bay. So yeah, looks good. Yeah. Det blir noe kul! Impressed mountains and I guess uh, the caves are on shore. I don't know but it, it looks like they are walking up, up there. like a nice little place. Vad har vi för djur? Vill du röra den starka eller vad hörde jag? Nej, jag tog den svagare. Den andra var typ 6,7 procent. Oj! Den här är 5. This whole area of islands is called Islas de Gigantes and we think this particular island's name is Antonia. As usual, we got a nice welcome from the locals. We met them at the beach where we sat down, watched the sunset, drank our beer and ate our squids. One of the few buildings on the beach is actually a hotel and if we understood it correctly, the tents were used by mostly domestic tourists too. So quiet? Yeah. Because uh, I guess they're gonna come back there in hotel. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Because they're gonna stay there usually. Because there is a 
Here's a hotel. Hotel. Here's a air conditioned room and usually fun room. After dinner, we were invited to join some Filipino men. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. You're fine to end up on the Oh, yeah. YouTube? <laughs> yeah, we put a lot of things up on YouTube. Do you have? Yeah, like going today, and it's really nice. When we were on our way back, we also got invited to the guys at one of the bankas. Bankas is the name of the beautiful Filipino boats. Hello. Hi, are we just going by? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah around like nine ish. The next morning, we were on our way to what we thought was some caves. This is on shore to check uh, if we can get ashore here and uh, if they charge us or if we can leave the dinghy here as well. So she seems to be busy talking to somebody, so maybe we have got good help. Good luck. As it turned out, there wasn't any caves. It was a huge lagoon and it was very crowded at the moment. The people that worked there told us that all the tours and bankers' boats do their final stop almost at the same time. So they advised us to come back later, just before the last bankas leaves. And if we were really lucky, maybe we'll have the whole lagoon by ourselves. We thought that sounded like a great idea and took a dinghy tour instead. Would you like to go to the top and jump? I think it's a bit too high to jump there. But probably from here is where I go. Yeah. Oh well, you can see the bottom, so it's... I think you are too tall. Alright. I go. Have a little seal there. Later in the afternoon we were back at the lagoon. Tanke Lagoon is a natural saltwater pool surrounded by steep cliffs. The whole island has a beautiful rock formation and inside the lagoon the surrounding was amazing. When we came back there were a few people still there but when we were done flying the drone we were almost alone. Except for other humans we had this little guy washing us all the time. We think the species is Philippine long-tailed macaque. Is clean? Hola. Vad är du på jakt efter att snoda? Hmm. 
<laughs> Sorry. We hope you enjoyed this episode and if you want to contribute to our video production, you are more than welcome to become a patron. Just click on the logo in the end or follow the link below. What did you think about the cage? The cage? Or the cage? was uh, <laughs> kind of beautiful. In the next episode we get a little confused in Bora Kay and then get the most wonderful welcome at lovely Grace Island by Michael and his cute little Hilda.